Hi, welcome back to the recap room. In today's video, we are going to be talking about another war action film titled Apocalypse Now, which is loosely based on the novel A Heart of Darkness, which talks about the hypocrisy of imperialism. Warning, spoilers ahead. The movie stars in 1969, during Vietnam War. Captain Benjamin L. Willard sits in a hotel room, feeling like he's going crazy. He says that war changes a person and it had changed him too. He was no longer the same man, and it had led him to divorce his wife. He gets up from his bed and begins to pace around the room. He punches a mirror and jumps on the bed once again. He then falls asleep with his hand bleeding. The next morning, there is a knock on the hotel room's door, waking Captain Willard. He calls out to ask who it is, and two soldiers come into his room. They look at the naked captain, concerned, and ask him if he's okay. Willard does not answer and goes back to bed. The soldiers tell Willard that he has been summoned to the field force headquarters in NHA Trang. When Willard reaches the headquarters, he meets with some high-ranking officers who invite him to sit and have lunch with them. As they begin to eat, Willard is briefed on his mission. The officers tell him that they have a new mission for him. They tell him about U.S. Army Special Forces Colonel Walter E. Kurtz. He is informed that Kurtz is confused and the war has made him go insane. He has waged a guerrilla war against the Vietnamese forces, and he thinks that the Vietnamese officers are undercover agents and has ordered their killings. Willard is told that his mission is to terminate Kurtz and stop his rampage. He is then briefed by another officer who tells him that he will take a patrol boat across the Nung River and follow Kurtz to Nu Mong Ba, where he will then infiltrate his team and kill Kurtz. Willard accepts the mission but remains hesitant because Kurtz is a decorated soldier. He is then introduced to his new crew, which consists of Mr. Clean, who is a 17-year-old boy, another soldier known as Chev, Lance, and the Chief. As the crew leaves for the mission, Willard quietly assesses his team. He begins to notice that they are quite non-serious and would rather have fun than think of their mission. The crew plays loud music and skis as they travel across the river. Before they reach Kurtz's outpost, the crew stops and meets Lieutenant Bill Kilgore, who's leading the 1st Squadron, 9th Cavalry Regiment, which is a helicopter-borne air assault unit. Willard briefs Kilgore on his mission, but he does not take him seriously and brushes him off by telling him that he has not heard of any mission getting assigned. Kilgore goes ahead and ignores Willard. Soon, Kilgore finds out that Lance is a well-known surfer. Only then does he become interested in helping the crew as he is an avid surfer himself. That night, all the soldiers gather around a bonfire and begin to talk about what life will be like post-war. The next dawn, all the soldiers prepare to attack and get on helicopters. They begin attacking the Vietnamese farmers and their families before conquering the small island. Kilgore pushes Lance to surf with him on the beach, even with bombs going around them. With Kilgore's non-serious attitude, Willard decides that he and his crew will be heading out towards Kurt's outpost and takes a PBR to continue with their mission. Willard continues to explore all the reasons as to why the officer needed Kurtz killed and not arrested. He begins to have serious doubts about their mission, but does not say anything to his men. Halfway through the river, the crew receives mail where everyone receives a letter from their loved ones. Willard receives a file containing more information about Kurtz. The letter states that there has been a development in the mission. There was a man assigned to the same mission as Willard, named Captain Richard Colby, who was assumed to have been killed once the officer stopped receiving information from him. However, they discovered that Colby was alive when a letter to his wife was intercepted. The letter instructed his wife to sell all of their belongings and to forget that he existed, as he will not be coming back. Colby had since then joined forces with Kurtz, Willard then opens up the file on Kurtz and begins to read through the pages of information on him. He is surprised to find that Kurtz once held a prestigious Pentagon position, but left it to join the Special Forces, where the highest rank was Colonel. This baffles Willard even more so, considering Kurtz demoted himself. As Willard ponders, the young soldiers with him begin to drink and smoke. Lance, who is under the influence of drugs, lights up a smoke bomb and begins to wave it around, despite the crew telling him not to. He draws the enemy's attention to their boat, who then begin firing at them. Everyone scrambles into position and tries to fight back, but Mr. Clean is killed. 
Chief mourns Mr. Clean, but continues with the mission. As they move further into the river, the crew is once again attacked, but this time with arrows and spears. Everyone on the boat begins to panic, but chiefs tell them to calm down and tells them that they are just wooden sticks and they are meant to scare them. Before they can gather their bearings, Chief is shot in the chest by a spear. He stares at the spear in shock before collapsing. Willard goes to help him, but the Chief grabs him and tries to kill him. However, Willard overpowers him, and the Chief succumbs to his wounds. Willard tells Chef about his mission and suggests that they go their separate ways, but Chef insists that they stay together until the mission is completed. As the remaining crew reaches an abandoned temple, they see an American photographer calling out to them. He tells the crew that they can park their boat and that the Montagnards will not harm them. The crew is cautious since the Montagnards are armed and there are bodies littered across the temple, with several severed heads on every corner. The chef is not willing to leave the boat, so Willard commands him to stay and guard the boat while he and Lance get off. He tells Chef to call for airstrikes if he and Lance are not back within a couple of hours. The photographer greets the two soldiers and tells them about Kurtz. He praises Kurtz and tells them that he's a genius and has come up with brilliant ideas. As they move further up the temple, Willard comes across former U.S. Army officers who have now joined hands with Kurtz. He recognizes Colby and asks the photographer to take him to Kurtz. The photographer gets a grim look on his face, but takes Willard inside a small temple where Kurtz lies sick. Willard goes to him and tries to talk to him about what had happened to him, but Kurtz is not willing to listen. He asks Willard about his mission. He replies that it is classified, but Kurtz tells him that it is no longer classified. Willard then tells him that he was told to terminate him, as he had gone insane. Kurtz mocks Willard and tells him that he is merely a puppet for the higher-ups to carry out their agenda. He then orders Willard to be taken away and keep him as a prisoner. Willard is kept in a bamboo cage for several days without food or water. He is then tied to a post where Kurtz comes to greet him. By this time, Willard is disoriented until Kurtz suddenly drops a severed head on his lap. Willard starts to scream and soon he realizes that the head on his lap belongs to Chev, which explained why there had been no airstrikes. After a few days of being kept in the same conditions, Kurtz orders Willard to be released, where he is then given the freedom to roam around the island. Kurtz tries to explain his philosophy to Willard and tells him that war turns men into beasts. He tells Willard about his time with the Special Forces, where he and his men vaccinated Vietnamese children, only to discover that their arms were cut off. He then asks Willard to tell his son about his ideas and why he did what he did. Willard soon realizes that Kurtz was correct to assume that he was simply an errand boy for the officers, who wanted him to kill someone who did not share their ideas of how a society should be run and no longer fit in their society. A few days later, the Vietnamese conduct a ritual of sacrificing a cow. Willard notices that everyone is busy in the ritual, leaving Kurtz unprotected. He takes his opportunity and sneaks into Kurt's temple and attacks him. Kurtz utters his last words and says, the horror, the horror before he dies. And that was it for the recap, guys. Tell us what you thought of the movie in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to see more of our videos, turn on the notification bell. See you on our next video.